All right, I'm getting ready to start or starting the initial test burn on this um, vertical offset. I've um, added about three quarters bag of um, royal oak lump charcoal in the uh, in the charcoal basket and put a couple of those paraffin Weber lighter cubes under it to get the fire started. I also sprayed a little bit of vegetable oil on the inside of the cooker so that um, it would season a little bit while I'm doing this initial test burn. So under this lid currently I have a griddle plate that I'm also seasoning and I'm also and I'm going to make a, um, a grill top for that as well so I can use it as a griddle or uh, to do some, some grilling if, if um, if needed. So cook chamber, I haven't made um, actual cook racks for this cooker yet. So I stole a couple cook racks out of one of my um, insulated cookers. Uh, one of the um, medium small size cook racks, you can see that they're, they're a little small. The widths are similar at about 22 inches wide, but in this guy, the depth will be about 24 inches, where in my insulated cookers, the depth is about 16 inches on the racks. Okay, I'm about 30 minutes in to um, bringing the cooker up to temperature. After I got the fire started, it probably took um, five minutes or so. I went ahead and closed the door and opened up both the two inch ball valves. And 30 minutes, we're almost hitting 200 degrees and it's rising uh, definitely more quickly now. Uh, I think once it gets up to, I don't know, 250 or so, I may throw in um, a couple splits and I'll show you what the charcoal looks like right now You can see that um, you know majority of the charcoal is looks like it's um lit and burning some there's still quite a bit in there so here in a couple minutes like I say when I hit up around uh, 200 I mean 250 I'll throw in some splits uh, probably could have brought it up to temperature a little bit quicker if I left the door open uh, a little longer to get a little more air in uh, for the fire but uh, so far so good it's been burning very clean with the lump as you might would expect so we'll see how it looks once i start throwing some splits in all right so 50 minutes in we're at about 225 now i'd closed one of the valves uh, before i walked away at the 30 minute mark and it went up to about 225 so you see I have one valve open, one valve closed, and I just threw a couple splits in. You see there, starting to burn, and I'm um, just going to see how it does. Smoke's a little bit wider coming out of the stack where I just threw the wood in, so we'll see how long it takes for that to clean up to get back to a nice clean burn. All right, it's been about 30 minutes since I added those two pieces, two uh, small splits of wood. And we're up to almost 300. Uh, what I did was ended up cracking that second valve open, I don't know, maybe a third, third at most, just so the temperature, I wanted to get up to around 300 to do some seasoning and probably most of my cooks, I'll probably cook around that temperature as well. So, I mean, the, the smoke coming out is not too bad. Uh, it could probably get a little bit cleaner. It may would if I opened up uh, exhaust a little bit, but it looks, looks pretty good so far. Really happy. Um, I haven't added any more wood yet, so at that um, 30 minutes ago, it was just those two, two small splits. And we'll let it keep running like this um, until it looks like the temperature starts to drop some, then I'll add a couple more splits and see what happens. Okay, here we go. The um, first test cook on the vertical offset. As you can see, I have a brisket just cooking in the pan. Uh, I do that most of the time when I'm cooking at home just to uh, keep from making such a mess. Pit was up to about 250, so I decided to go ahead and, and throw it on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it on up to around 300 degrees and try to maintain that temperature throughout uh, 
throughout the cook. Brisket's been on right at two hours now, so you can take a look at it. I think it's coming around, coming along really nicely. Been maintaining the temperature really close to, to 300 degrees. So I went ahead and I've thrown on a couple, couple racks of ribs to cook as well. So, so far everything is working really well. Very pleased with how the, the cooker is preforming. So check back in here in another couple hours. All right, we're about four hours into the brisket and the ribs have been on for a couple hours. Uh, looking pretty good. I'll probably let it go another hour or so and then I'm gonna wrap them just to get them to cook a little bit quicker so we'll be ready to eat here in a couple hours. Give them a little time, give the brisket a little time to rest. <laughs> 